Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be assembling this Huffy Princess bike. And so it comes with a lot of pieces, but a lot of it is already assembled, so it's really not too bad. There are a few curved balls, and so we'll show you that in the video. Tools, really easy. All I needed was a 15 millimeter wrench, as well as a uh, cross point or Phillips screwdriver, and then a 15 millimeter socket. Those were really the only three tools that I needed to complete this job. So it's pretty easy if you have those. Uh, I am following the owner operator manual and I suggest you do the same in case I miss a step or uh, whatnot. So just follow this video just to, as demonstration only. So uh, we went ahead first and took off these plastic supports and cardboard pieces here. Now on the hardware for the front wheel, we're going to go ahead and loosen it on both sides. And you'll notice that it has a little washer behind the nut that has a little prong on it. So what we want to do is make sure that the forks sit down in here and they go all the way down on both sides. And so we loosen these up on both ends in order to get that to sit down in there. And now as you look at this washer with the little clip on the top, we're going to push this in and make sure that that tab goes into the hole in the fork. Next, we're going to look at the nut and you want to make sure that it actually does have these lines in it. That's what's going to keep it from backing off. Uh, so make sure it has those perforated lines in the back side of the nut and then we're going to go ahead and uh, put this nut back on. Now we want to make sure that we install this even on both sides. So do not just tighten down one side all the way and then move to the other. We want to put these on uh, on both sides and make sure that it goes on evenly. All right, so we just went to the other side and did the same thing. We wanted to make sure that the nut had those perforated lines in it. And then uh, we wanted to make sure that that washer had gone in with the tab going through the hole in the fork. So now that we have it somewhat tightened down on both sides and we just have it hand tight on each side, we're gonna get our wrenches. And so we're gonna need our 15 millimeter. We'll use the socket on one side and then we'll use the same size wrench, 15 millimeter on the other side. And so if you have both of these, we want to use them at the same time and just evenly tighten them down. So you're going in opposite directions, uh, just making sure that each of them are turning clockwise and tightening down. So we went ahead and, and tighten these down. You don't want it too tight to where you start bending the forks or uh, make it so that the wheel doesn't spin. So you just want to get it nice and snug, pick the wheel off the ground and make sure that it still spins freely. Okay, next we're gonna move on to the handlebars. And what you'll notice on the handlebars is it has this plastic cap on the bottom, and it's really hard to, to get that off, uh, but you do wanna pull that off. Now you wanna look on this handlebar shaft here and you see those lines, those perforated lines are how far the handlebars have to go in at the minimum. So you can put it in farther, but you have to just make sure that when you put that in that they at least go all the way up into there. And so uh, this is a plastic piece. And so as you see, as you tighten it down, the wedge moves forward and locks the uh, handlebars into place. Uh, so uh, when you're first putting it down in there, if, if you're having trouble getting it to fit, make sure you loosen that nut on the top uh, so that it falls down in there because if it's tighter, it's already coming out. So this one slid back, uh, slid in there just fine. And now you can see, remember those perforated lines for the minimum insertion line. So we made sure we went down far enough to where those lines had disappeared. Now we're just using a 15 millimeter socket from the top. And as we tighten this down, it'll move that wedge out and tighten everything up. So this is where you wanna get uh, in front of it with your legs to hold it still. And as you can see, we can adjust the handlebars to make sure that they're straight. And so now as you tighten it down, you should not be able to move the handlebars in each direction. Uh, if you're holding the wheel, it shouldn't budge. So you want it tight, but not too tight. On the seat, it has a similar thing. If you look at the back post on the seat, you're gonna see the lines and uh, where it's written minimum insertion. So it has to go in at least up to those lines before you tighten it down. Uh, in order for it to be safe. So this one came with a quick release, which was really nice. Otherwise, it's just a bolt and a nut on each side. And so uh, basically what you do on this is you uh, spin it until it starts to tighten up. Okay, so you can spin the nut on one side. And then as you're clamping it, it should take some good force to, to shut it. 
If it doesn't, then it's going to be too loose, and when there's weight on it, the seat could fall in. So again, we just tightened it up on one side and uh, pushed the clamp down and made sure it was in to that uh, minimum insertion. Uh, so again, you might have a nut and a bolt instead of the quick release one. Okay, as for the training wheels, uh, this hardware was loose, assuming you're going to put the hardware training wheels on it. So we're going to take the nut off, and again, we're going to check and make sure that it has those good lines uh, to make sure it's the right hardware. Now, the training wheel just goes right on here. That's very easy. You just put it on and tighten this back in. So what I did is I put the nut on, and then I moved this so it was kind of right in the middle. You just want to make sure that it's even on both sides. So I went ahead and tightened this one down with our 15 millimeter socket. And then I just moved to the other side and did the same thing. So again, just make sure that it's uh, even on both sides so that they're the same height. And uh, so I just did the same thing here, took the nut off, put on the train wheel, put the nut back on, centered it here, and tightened it down. Okay, next comes the pedals, and it's very important. They are labeled left and right, and there is a reason for that. So the left one actually has a reverse thread. So where you normally would uh, tighten things down going clockwise, on the left pedal, you're actually going to turn it counterclockwise in order for it to tighten down since it's a reverse thread. And that keeps it from coming loose when you're pedaling on it. Uh, so we're just taking our 15 millimeter wrench, and we're tightening it back down. And again, we're going counterclockwise, which would be the wrong way, but it's reverse thread, so that pedal's going to go on this way. Uh, make sure you don't uh, put it on the wrong way and, and try to make it work where it can damage the threads. Okay, so the right pedal goes on the way it should. You just line up the threads, and we're going to turn it clockwise and just turn it you know, righty-tighty. Same 15-millimeter wrench on this one. And that's how we're going to thread this one up. So uh, it helps to uh, move the pedal up a little bit so that the wrench can just spin the whole time. And if you have a good helper like I did, uh, you can get this tightened down in no time. Good job, right there. I'm helping. Good job. As for the basket part, you're going to have this piece that's going to go around the handlebars from the bottom, and then the basket comes up from the top. So we're just going to pop this right into place here and bring in our little support here from the bottom. And this is just going to go together with the Phillips screws. And so you just want to make sure that you do this evenly. So we're going to go in and tighten this down and just move from screw to screw. Don't tighten one down all the way. Um, just go a little bit on each screw and eventually they'll all go down and that's how they will go on evenly. So we went ahead and tightened that down and that worked out really well. Uh, next, uh, we have the little wheels here that come through. So we're taking uh, this piece and we're just sliding it right into the little hole here. Okay, so as you push that one through, now we just take the other wheel from the other side and it goes right on and just give it a little push and it will click into place. Now for the top of the basket, it has a little uh, closing door. So you're just gonna put this in one side and then it clips into the other. And now you have a little flap that opens and closes. And so that's how that one's supposed to go in. And then it's also gonna have uh, this piece that comes up from the top. It's kind of like a little uh, backrest for whatever dolls are sitting in the front. And so you just pop uh, all three of those lines into place. So you'll see where they line up and just pop, push it straight down. And then you have this piece that goes all the way around the trim. And you can see it has little holes in the side. And there's little nubs on uh, each side here for these to line up with. So you'll just kind of pinch them and put them into place on each of those. And this is supposed to look like a carriage. <laughs> with all the princesses in it. So then there's tabs on the front and the back, so just make sure that those go into place. Okay, everything looks good here. We'll, we'll uh, pinch these other tabs from the side on as well. 
just like we did on the other side. Okay, next we'll install the streamers. And so these just push into the uh, bar handle ends. And these were pretty hard to put in. So just start pushing and they'll cut their way through the little hole. And you gotta really pop them in. So watch at the very end, they do pop in. You don't wanna get your finger stuck. Now we're gonna fill the tires with air. So you'll need an air compressor or a pump. And it will show you on the side that it says to inflate these to 35 PSI. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Please check the video description. I have a whole playlist on uh, the dad jobs playlist is what I call it for anything that you'd be putting together. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.